Yo guys, welcome back to this channel. For this video, we are talk about the physical property of alcohol, part two. And in this part two, we are talk about the solubility of alcohol in water. It's just a very short video about the solubility of alcohol in water. The most important of the solubility of alcohol in water is to learn these two new terms. We know that in an alcohol compound, you have your R group. Your R group represent your alkyl group. Your alkyl group stand for what? Your alkyl group is actually your carbon-carbon group. So you have the presence of your carbon-carbon side, and then you have your presence of your OH, that is your hydroxyl group. Alright, so over here, the first new term that I want you to pick up is the word hydrophobic. Your alkyl group or your carbon group will create a hydrophobic area or hydrophobic group. What is mean by hydrophobic? Hydrophobic over here means you don't like water. So your R group is a group that doesn't love water. Okay. Well, for your OH, your OH is something we call hydrophilic. Hydrophilic area over here means water loving group. So this area is the area that will love water. All right. Before we go into deeper about solubility of alcohol in water, the first two terms that I want you to pick up is the word hydrophobic and also hydrophilic. Hydrophobic is your alkyl group, your R group over here, while your hydrophilic is your OH group over here. So if I want my alcohol to be easily soluble in water, which area should be bigger, your hydrophobic area or your hydrophilic area? If the alcohol is easily soluble in water, it means your hydrophilic area is very large. At the same time, your hydrophobic area must be very small because your hydrophobic area is the area that doesn't like water. So your hydrophobic area must be very small so that your alcohol can dissolve in your water easily. Okay, makes sense? So that is what we mean by hydrophobic and hydrophilic area. The area that loves water and this is the area that doesn't like water. Okay, that it will run away from the water. So that is the two keywords that you need to know. Next. Let's go into the factor affecting the solubility of alcohol in water. So the factor will be affecting the solubility of alcohol in water. The first one definitely is the number of OH group because your OH group is your hydrophilic area, which is your water loving area. Okay, so if the number of OH group right now increase, which means your hydrophilic area is now bigger. Therefore, your solubility of the alcohol will also increase because it's easier to dissolve in the water when you have more hydrophilic area. While the second factor that affecting the solubility of alcohol in water is the number of your alkyl group. You, knowing that your alkyl group is your R group over here or your carbon-carbon group or your carbon-carbon atom. And you know that your alkyl group is your hydrophobic area which does not like water. Okay? Well, it doesn't love water. So, if I want my solubility to be higher, I want the thing to be easily dissolved in water your alkyl group must be smaller and your hydrophobic area must be smaller. When the alkyl group is smaller and the hydrophobic area is smaller, then only the solubility will increase. All right, so that is the two factor. Let's jump into the first example of this solubility. So I have two alcohol down in the screen right now. I have my alcohol P and I have my alcohol Q. And if you look at them, you know that both alcohol right now having different number of OH group. You can see in your alcohol P, there is only one OH. While in your alcohol Q, it's very clear that you have two OH group. 
So I'll go P having one OH group and then your alcohol Q having two OH group. So the question over here is why when you have more OH group is easier to dissolve in water? Because to be able to dissolve in water, you must be able to form hydrogen bond with water molecule. And who can form hydrogen bond with the water molecule? Must be OH group. OH group is the one that can form a hydrogen bond with the water molecule. That's why when you have more OH group, the higher the OH group, therefore you can form more hydrogen bond with the water molecule. When you can form more hydrogen bond with the water molecule, then it's easier to dissolve in water. Alright? So by that in mind, to dissolve in water, you must be able to form hydrogen bond with the water molecule. And the more OH group that you have, the more hydrogen bond you can form with the water molecule, your alcohol will be dissolved easily. So when you have one OH group and two OH group, which is more soluble, your alcohol Q over here will be more soluble in water. And that's why we name the OH group over here as a hydrophilic area because the OH group is the one that form hydrogen bond with the water molecule. All right, simple. Let's look at the full explanation of this alcohol P and Q. The first thing, your alcohol Q has more OH group than alcohol P. Quite obvious, your alcohol Q having two OH group while your alcohol P having only one OH group. Next, the OH group is a hydrophilic group. You need to mention you have more OH group. So, so let them know that your OH group is a hydrophilic group that will help you to increase the solubility in water. Next, your alcohol Q therefore can form more hydrogen bond with the water molecule. Bear that in mind, hydrogen bond again is an attractive forces. Alright, attractive forces mean you need to have two things. Who is attracted to who? Right now, is your alcohol Q can form more hydrogen bond with the water molecule. That is your alcohol Q, that is your water molecule. Alright? As a result, your alcohol Q will be more soluble in water than the alcohol P. Your alcohol Q will definitely be more soluble than your alcohol P because the presence of two OH group over here, which is your hydrophilic group that can form more hydrogen bond with the water molecule. Simple, easy. So as a conclusion, the higher the number of OH group, which is the higher the hydrophilic group, the solubility in water increase. Solubility of who? Solubility of alcohol in water increase. So OH group higher, solubility higher. Okay. Next, let's move to the second factor that affecting the solubility of alcohol in water by using these two alcohol. So I have my alcohol S over here and my alcohol T over here. What do you see on the screen is alcohol S having only one OH. Alcohol T also having one OH. So the first thing, you have the same number of OH group. The hydrophilic area right now is the same. So if the hydrophilic area is the same, can we discuss the hydrogen bond? Can we still mention about hydrogen bond with the water molecule? No, you cannot discuss about that anymore because alcohol S having one OH, alcohol T having one OH, you cannot talk about hydrogen bond, they are the same. If you cannot talk about OH group, you cannot talk about hydrophilic area, what can you discuss? Look at the number of carbon. Your alcohol S over here having three carbon group. Your alcohol T having a five carbon straight chain. So three carbon and five carbon. Your alkyl group right now is different. You have different number of alkyl group, which is your R group, your carbon group, okay? That is what we call alkyl group. Alright, so remember that. 
So your alkyl group right now is different and your alkyl group right now is your hydrophobic area. This area hate water. Alright? So this is the area that's going to move away from the water molecule. They don't like water. So the area that doesn't like water in alcohol tea is very big. Your hydrophobic area over here is very big due to the presence of 5 carbon alkyl group. And you see the area? This is the area that doesn't love water. It's so big compared to the S. Alright, compared to your alcohol S, this is the area that doesn't love water. So which one holding higher hydrophobic area? Your alcohol T. So when you're holding a larger hydrophobic area, what happened to the solubility? The solubility of this alcohol in water will definitely decrease because the area that doesn't love water is so big. Okay? And that is how we check the hydrophobic area and the hydrophilic area. Just draw your alcohol and compare the number of OH group and also the number of alkyl group. And right now, you can see very clearly, we cannot discuss the hydrophilic area because they are the same, but we can only discuss the hydrophobic area because the number of carbon is different. 3 carbon and 5 carbon. And since we can only discuss about hydrophobic area, so you can see over here is the bigger the hydrophobic area, the lower the solubility of the alcohol in water. Okay? It's a vice versa with the hydrophilic. Make sense? Because they don't like water. Okay? So when the area that doesn't like water right now is so big, you have so many people that don't like water, the solubility in water definitely decreases. Make sense? Simple. Let's look at the full explanation of the solubility of alcohol S and alcohol T in water. So first and foremost, you mention what are the same. Both alcohol above having the same OH group. I have one OH group, I have one OH group. And next, your alcohol T has a bigger alkyl group than your alcohol S. Look at your alcohol T, that is my alkyl group. Your alcohol S, that is my alkyl group. Obviously, if you look at it, your alcohol T obviously having a larger alkyl group than your alcohol S. And we know that your alkyl group is a hydrophobic area that don't like water or basically hating water or move away from the water. So the bigger the alkyl group, the solubility in water will decrease because it's a hydrophobic area. As a result, your alcohol T over here will be less soluble in water than the alcohol S. Okay, simple, easy. As a result, the bigger the alkyl group, all right, the bigger your R group or your carbon group, your hydrophobic area will increase. When the hydrophobic area that increase, the solubility of the alcohol in water will decrease. Because hydrophobic area means that you don't like water. When the area that you don't like water is very big, therefore the solubility of alcohol in water will decrease. Okay? So the higher the R group, the bigger the R group, the solubility in water will be less. Simple. That is the two factor affecting the solubility of alcohol in water. As a conclusion for the alcohol in water, some tips for you over here is alcohol with carbon 1 until carbon 3 is completely soluble. Alcohol with 4 carbon, your butanol, will be partially soluble. Your alcohol with 5 carbon or 6 carbon will be only slightly soluble. While your alcohol with 7 carbon and above, your heptanol and above, will be basically insoluble in water. So the one that will be completely soluble in water will be actually your methanol, your ethanol, your propanol are the examples that will be completely soluble in water. Your alcohol with 1 carbon until 3 carbon. Your alcohol with 4 carbon butanol will be only partially soluble because the number of carbon increases. 
the alcohol with 5-6 carbon will be slightly soluble, even less soluble. Why? Because the number of carbon increase, your hydrophobic area increase. Okay? Therefore, the solubility will also decrease. Okay? So that is the last tips that I can give to you in the solubility of alcohol in water. When you read the question, you should roughly know whether your alcohol should be soluble or insoluble in water. And make sure you remember the keyword of the hydrophobic and also the hydrophilic. That are the most important term in the solubility of water. And make sure you have these two terms down in your explanation when you're talking about solubility of alcohol in water. All right. And I think that's it for this video about solubility of alcohol in water. Discuss about solubility of alcohol in water. So I hope you understand the factor affecting the solubility of alcohol in water after watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you for watching and I shall see you in the next video.